I always try to wait for some significant progress before I do one of these updates, and I think we've passed that threshold. A couple of things have happened of significance. In my opinion, the most significant thing is the long-awaited transformer for Anthony, Texas has finally arrived. So hopefully that site will become live pretty soon. Also, the price continues to drop. More sites are spotted un under construction in states that have not had any builds to date. And a second site in California has been spotted under construction. Let's go ahead and get into the update. First thing, this is what the map looks like. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near this by uh, what is said to be the end of 2024. It looks like they're trending right now to be halfway done with this map by the end of 2024. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see. New this update. You can see the first 1-9 station has opened up in Serona, Kentucky on Interstate 65. Just yesterday, St. Mary's, Georgia. This is near the very popular Kingsland, Georgia stop, just before you get into the state of Florida coming down Interstate 95. Uh, spotted under construction not too long ago and has flashed over to being open. Tifton, Georgia, shortly after I did my last update, this one opened up. It's on Interstate 75. It's got a canopy. It's at a exit that also has a Circle K charging station. So that's pretty cool. New this update spotted under construction, as I mentioned, the one in California on Interstate 5. It's in Patterson, California, kind of like right in the middle of the state. Iowa, the first one in Iowa has been spotted, Victor, Iowa on Interstate 80. The first one in the state of Illinois, which was really dragging its feet. Had a lot of builds going on around it, but nothing in Illinois has been spotted on Interstate 65 in Troy, outside of uh, St. Louis. Schulenburg, Texas, over here on Interstate 10, in between Houston and San Antonio, and Walton, Kentucky, up near Cincinnati in the northern portion of the state. This is what it looks like in table form. The check marks shows open, so the three that are open are right here, and then this column shows the canopies, and then obviously the people who have been uh, kind enough to spot this and provide the information to us. <clears throat> And here's the pricing. This is all updated. It was kind of interesting doing the pricing this time. As you see, the average price has dropped down. We're continuing on a down, downward trend. But if you look at the highest prices, they're all 69 cents. And the lowest prices are all 45 cents. So it seems like they're coming into some kind of standardization with pricing or something. I'm not quite sure. But um, so there's not one highest price. But the nice thing is about the highest price, we did have several sites that were above 80 cents per kilowatt hour. Those are all gone. We don't even have anything at 70 cents per kilowatt hour. Nothing. So the highest price throughout the entire network right now is below 70 cents per kilowatt hour at 69. And we've got many sites that are below 50 cents per kilowatt hour. So this um, CPO network is really starting to come in line with national averages for pricing, which is great news because for a while there, their, their pricing was really outrageous. And I chalk that up to just naivety of a new CPO getting into the market, but it seems as though um, they've uh, come in line with uh, national pricing averages. Okay, and I have broken out this ta uh, table from the NEVI because there's an, a table that I'm going to be showing here that has all the NEVI information. We've got 63 sites open, 56 spotted under construction. The state of Ohio is still in the lead, but Texas is nipping at its heels. Georgia has nine with the opening of Tifton. Kentucky is really starting to catch up as well. So, you know, in Oklahoma, really surprised. I mean, it's a pretty desolate state, not a lot of population, and they're um, holding their own with six. That's pretty impressive. Interstate 75 is still at the top, but 40 is catching up pretty quick here. Um, and then in third place is 90. As far as time zones go, there are 21 open in the central time zone, 24 spotted under construction. Eastern time zone has 39 open, 23 spotted under construction. The mountain time zone has one open, seven spotted under construction. Starting to do better there. Pacific time zone has two open and two spotted under construction. As I mentioned, these are the NEVI counts in table form. It might be a little bit hard to read, so feel free to pause and go through, but this is the complete information for the Pilot Corp NEVI awards, both uh, open and actually open, spotted under construction, and still waiting for builds to occur. So all three. So these are all NEVI awards for the 
um, pilot corporation that have been issued to date. And this has been updated. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that has all the data tables as well as updated photos for all the canopy sites, both open and spotted under construction. Thanks for watching.